somebody under the sound of my voice is there someone who knows that after this 21 days there's about to be an eruption of what has not happened before there's about to be laughter good news joy breakthrough breaking forth like never before let me ask you how 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 will you shout scream shout 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 give the lord a loud shout i need you to do something like you really believe it help me walk up to 21 neighbors i want you to scream in their ear congratulations congratulations 21 neighbors scream in their ear congratulations 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 celebrate the lord celebrate the lord celebrate 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 congratulations Congratulations! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Your weeping days are over! Congratulations! The Lord has gone ahead! Congratulations! Evidence on every side! Congratulations! Open doors! Access! Turn around! Raise your voice! Raise your voice! Raise your voice! Shout! 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 Give the Lord a loud shout! Look at your neighbor for me and say neighbor. Now look at that neighbor. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Say neighbor. I can see everything turning around. <laughs> everything turning around. Everything turning around. Oh. That neighbor is not ready. That neighbor is not ready. Leave that neighbor. Get in the face of another neighbor. I can see everything turning around. Shade, everything turning around. Hey, everything turning around. Oh. Can you leave that neighbor? Get in the face of another. I can see everything turning around. Oh, yeah. Everything turning around. Jesus, everything turning around. Can you meet another neighbor? I can see everything. It will happen. It's already happening. Hey! Leave that neighbor, get in the face of another. I can see everything. 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 Can you be the last neighbor? I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Hey! Everything turning around. Oh my God. Why are He said, How you will shout. 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 Give the Lord a big shout. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor, where you were is no longer where you are. Say, neighbor, I see a new you. Say, neighbor, I see a newer you. Say, neighbor, a more glorious you. A more glorious you. Say, neighbor, I see doors. I see opportunities. I see open doors. I see access everywhere. Say, neighbor, 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 your new has come. Let your amen turn the louder. I announce it is done. Celebrate the Lord with a loud shout. Ooh. The devil will hear me. So be 2024 like this. 2024. 2024. Give the Lord the loud shout. Okay now.
Jesus here you have done it again Jesus here in your special way what was impossible you made possible Jesus here is that not going to be your testimony this week, this week, this week, this week, Jesus, yeah, Jesus, yeah, you, you have, have done, done it again, Jesus, yeah, yes, sir, in your special way, what was impossible, you made I don't know I don't know that you know the song I pray my voice can carry it he don't do him again he never be given Jehovah don't do him again it sounds like your song is today is and God made me laugh oh. there is a spirit of joy you need to pull for with joy with joy shall we draw from the well from the well from the well from the well shakata rakata labia ashada raise your voice give the lord a loud shout I forgive me I really feel joy because I'm not seeing you where you are Jesus you need to see what I am seeing in the spirit celebrations Congratulations, joy and laughter. Shake it, shake it. This is the year. 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 Raise your voice. Give him a shout. He turned my morning into dancing in my day he lifted my soul hey! I can't stand silent yes sir I will shout for his joy has come please help me open your bible Let me, let's do this first Let's do this. Can we read? Is there anything that will stop you this year? Is there anything that will stop you this year? Is there anything that will stop you this year? Once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard it that all power, that all power, that all power belong unto God. Raise your voice, give him a shout. Open your Bibles to the book of Genesis. We read Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. And we'll start reading Genesis chapter 18. And we'll read from verse 12. Glory to God. Glory. 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 So we read Genesis chapter 18. And we will read... Um, from verse 9 to 12. And then we're going to go to Genesis chapter 21. 
and we're going to read verse 6. And then we're going to also read Genesis chapter 21. And that will be all. Praise God. We'll just read the first few verses and that will be fine. Glory. Glory. So, like a mass choir at a count of three, can we read together? And we'll read from verse 9 to 15. That is Genesis 18 from verse 9 to 15. Can we read together, church? One to go. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he saw it, behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him, after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am wask old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a shorty bear a child, which am old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At a time appointed, I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid, and he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. So let's run to Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. And we're going to read from verse 1 um, up until verse um, 14. Uh, from verse 1 to verse 13, that will be fine. Can we read together, church, when to go? And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God has spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will, will laugh with me. And he said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah would have given children suck? For I have a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned. And Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which he had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast thou this bond woman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah has said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation because he is my seed. And Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Father, we ask, let there be none of any man but all of you. Father, we ask that you have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand and say, I believe the word of God. Amen. Say, is the compass for my life. Say, I believe the word of God. It bets the supernatural in my destiny. Say, I believe the word of God. Say, with the word of God, my destiny is shifted. Let your amen turn the louder. Would you take your seat in the presence of God, people of God? It will please the Lord that I share with you five thoughts. And people of God, by the time I'm done with the five thoughts, you will be able to guard your laughter. You will be able to guard the great and mighty things that the Lord is about to do in your life. And if you're saying, Pastor, can this be called attacks against your laughter? Attacks against your new season? Attacks, you know, against what the Lord wants to give you as an evidence? Then, people of God, you are not wrong. And so we're going to be crushing it headlong in this service. I wish you can raise your voice and thunder fire. Even your fire does not have fire inside it. <laughs> and so people of God, it becomes necessary for me to bring this to your attention. The Bible said, that in Genesis chapter 18 we discover that the Bible said that after those three men visited and they said to Abraham Sarah thy wife 
is going to conceive and bear a child. The Bible said, and Sarah laughed. People of God, Sarah laughed. Touch your neighbor, say Sarah laughed. Sarah laughed. Some neighbors will say, is that news? Is that, is that news? Pastor, we already know that Sarah laughed. But we're going somewhere. Somebody look at your neighbor, say Sarah laughed. Sarah laughed. Say it again, say Sarah laughed. Sarah laughed. Say it again for the last time, say Sarah laughed. Now, let me ask you, church. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, let me just ask you, just so that we'll be on the same page. So, why would Sarah laugh? Literally, like, why would Sarah laugh? <laughs> you know, Sarah, 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 Sarah would just be saying, is that a comedian that is sitting down there? Is that a comedian? Like, you look at an old woman like me like this, and you say, I am going to conceive and bear a child. Some jokes are too expensive. Don't, 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 don't joke with such a thing. So, sir, it is okay for me to say that Sarah's laughter was circumstantial, was based on what was going on in her life. Did you hear what I just said? I'm going somewhere. So, we take a few chapters away from there and we arrive at chapter 21. The same Sarah came back and said, Something about laughter. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. The same Sarah came and said something about laughter. And but this time around, Sarah said, in chapter 18, I laughed. It was me that laughed. In chapter 21, God made me laugh. So, my first laughter was based on circumstances. But the laughter that was going to be generational was based on the supernatural. God, places where I have laughed, I desire that you make me laugh. Sir, laughter, sir, that are circumstantial, will always have weaknesses and holes in them. And it will never produce destiny results. But when God makes you laugh, the dots may not connect. But your laughter will still happen. Madipo rokoto baladi adabasata rekebindo shokotada rakada. It may not look like it is working, but God will still make you laugh. So, sir, the difference between the laughter of Sarah that annoyed God and the laughter that God made her laugh is that one was looking on the circumstance. And the other one was trusting in the ability of God. Am I communicating? And God said to me to announce to you today, Kibarasha, stop looking at what it looks like. Look at what I look like. Did you hear what I just said right now? Stop looking at what the circumstance looks like. Look at what God looks like. Am I communicating? So the reason why I know you're going to laugh is that all that God requires you to do today is to keep your eyes where God is. I am keeping my eyes where your word is. I'm keeping my eyes where your will is. I'm keeping your eyes what you said about me. I'm keeping my eyes. I cannot go on a 21 day journey. You are not a man that you should lie. Some people did not call you more than 5 minutes and you answered them. For 21 days. And as your amen were thunder. And as my knees were touched the ground. I announce over your life. Carry your evidence. I said, carry your evidence. Carry your evidence. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Back to back. 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 Right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. 
Somebody help me thunder, say God has made me laugh. Somebody help me thunder again, say God has made me laugh. Somebody look at your neighbor, say neighbor, my laughter is not circumstantial. I say my laughter is coming from my revelation of who God is. Say my laughter is coming from what he said about my life. Say my laughter is coming because I know 2024 is already secure. Say my laughter is coming because my God never, never, never fails let your image turn the louder take your seat let me say this the year 2024 how old was Abraham? Maybe in the region of 80, in the later part of his 80s. Huh? Pretty much around that area. I want you to understand that the person that needed Abraham fathered a child that old. But because Sarah had not yet aligned, Abraham had the propensity to father. But Sarah did not have what it takes to mother. Forgive my use of words like this. Because a man of faith never grows old. Whenever things around you are beginning to grow old, business, opportunities, and all that. Please check your faith level. Because the devil is not permitted to touch what belongs to you until he touches your feet. That's not where I am going to. But always remember this at the back of your mind. So sir, there is a laughter that happened in chapter 18. There's another one that happened in chapter 21. The difference between it is what God made happen. Am I communicating? And as soon as Sarah laughed, God had a question for Abraham. He said, where is Sarah, thy wife? In fact, watch what the even before any word came. You will understand before even he released the word, what, this is what is going to happen in and for Sarah. And they said unto him, where is Sarah, thy wife? And he said, behold, in the tent. Mm. This question is very familiar. If you look at this question, it's very familiar. Some time ago, God raised this same question and it had to do with Adam. Where are you? Sir, if you look at the antecedents of this question and possibly their precedent, you will understand the question is not where is she staying? The question is in this journey of faith where is Sarah? I need you to take what I'm about to say very seriously. In what God is saying that he will do in 2024, where are you? Where is your faith? Where is your posturing? Where, I will not raise a church that just knows how to shout amen. I want a church that will keep up to speed with what God is saying. Even if we get to February, Lord, I know what you have said. Jerry, where are you? I am, I am in tune with that thing that you have said. That thing you said about me. That thing you said I will not be small. That is still where I am. Kapando koshabada. Where is Sarah, thy wife? Is not where is she? And Abraham answered, He's in the tent. Look at what was going to happen eventually. Show me the next verse. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent door, which was behind him. Look at the next verse. Now, Abraham and Sarah were old and were stricken in age. And he ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Yes. The next. Therefore, Sarah 
laughed within herself, saying, After I am was old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. <laughs> the next. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh? So my problem, the Lord was saying, This is my problem with Sarah. And that thing you are telling me, Sarah is in the tent. That's not what I am asking. This is my problem. Where is Sarah? Where is her mind in this thing I'm saying? Where are, because it's easy to get into church here. You receive the word. You shout amen. But when you come out, your posturing does not look like what you heard. Jerry, where are you in the greatness God is about to release? Shake it out. Where am I in all, in all the promise? Where, where, where are you? I don't want you to chicken out. Hold on strongly to the horns of the altar. Faithful is he that has promised. He has not called the sons of Jacob to seek him in vain. Where are you? He wasn't just asking. And God, this same question that he asked Abraham, where are you? Notice every time God would ask this question, the people involved had deviated. Every time he asked the question, he had a problem with the people. Where are you? You're going to go out of here. You're going to see things that will contend and contest with what you believe. You're going to live here and you're going to find situations that will make you doubt everything that you ever believe God. Remember, remember, when that season comes, ask yourself, Jerry, where are you? Where are you? And I will always remind myself, align to what God is saying. Faithful is he that promised. He has not called the sons of Jacob to seek him in vain. Where, wake up every morning by your confession. Where are you? By your lifestyle. Where are you? By what you are saying. Where are you? By the way you are reasoning. Where are you? By the people you are connecting with. Where are you? By your fear, anxiety and worry. Where are you? So if you're going to do anything for yourself, be always checking yourself. Throughout this year, am I still where he said I am? Am I where he wants me to be? When anxiety comes, ask yourself, Jerry, where are you? If you're not where you ought to be, drag yourself back where you ought to be. Can I give you 10 seconds? Speak in the Holy Ghost. Just speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in, speak in other tongues. 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 Reko, a shatter, a labiana, a tabade, irocoto, a shapa, papa, a tocoto, racada, a tade, a labiana, a tabada, zapado, 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 a cutter, a labia, a tuna, a labia, a cotta, a satter. Let your amen turn the louder. Call your name again and say, Jerry, say, where are you? I need you to quiet yourself that question. Call yourself again and say, Jerry, where are you? If you understand what I said, can you thunder a louder? Amen. Can you thunder a louder? Amen. Lift up your right hand and thunder, my father, my father. Say, push me to where I ought to be. Say, my father, align me to where I ought to be. Say, my father, build me to where I ought to be. Say, my father, drag me to where I ought to be. Say, I will not miss my day. I will not miss my day of visitation. Let your amen thunder. Take your seat. It's amazing, people of God, that God, everyone listen to me, every family listen to me. It's amazing that God will catch Abraham. Abraham is my guy. But God was not satisfied was looking for Sarah. In other words, you see this year, all of us will agree. Yes, see, I'm not, I'm not, see this year, I, I, and it's amazing that God, he, he, he's not, he doesn't have a problem with Abraham. Oh yeah, God acts with Abraham now. He said, where is Sarah, your wife? I don't want a weak link in this process. Can I beg you, this is one year, no matter what it will take, make the sacrifice for your family to move forward. 
I don't want, he says, we, I, I, need, I need you all. I need everybody to speak the same way. I need everybody to align the same way. I need everybody to pray the same way. I need everybody. Where is Sarah, thy wife? Am I communicating? And people of God, I need you to understand that God took notice of Sarah's laughter. But you and I know that until you get to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 11, you understand why this woman was laughing? Eh. It was when you reach Hebrews 11, 11 that you understand why this woman was laughing. The Bible says through faith. Also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive. I don't know whether you understand that the problem was not her biological makeup. The problem was the absence of strength. So, sir, what was happening to Sarah? Why the laughter might have remained elusive was that there was no strength. So the reason why Kapan the Ko Shabadi Ada Rekoto Balaba Dia Sakar Eremenebo Shadabadi Korabarasia Leke de Beada Basada. I don't know whether it has happened to you before. Have you ever been anywhere in your life where you're so tired? And then all of a sudden they say something is happening. The kind of rush of strength that comes in the inside of you. Shabi, you are the one that say you were tired. How did you run out like that? How did you get, you know, and all that? There's news that you'll hear right now. All your tiredness will disappear. People of God, this was what Sarah needed. Strength that would chase away every... She was not just weak in her body. Her mind had become weak. Her mental ability to process that a woman as old as myself... No, 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 let's not go. Let's not go there. The Bible... I want you to know that... The Bible says she received strength to conceive seed. She did not receive seed and conceive. Everyone who had ever conceived miraculously in the Bible, those with children that had destinies, people of God, always conceived either by the word Look at Mary, either conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Ghost, people of God, and people, and this other one, conceiving by strength. There's so much God wants to release, but he's asking, do you have the strength? There's a, there, there, there are sinners here. Shako Bande Yadaba, Arriba, between your 18, chapter 18, and your chapter 21, God wants to release strength. Because what is about to come is bigger than you. It's bigger than you. What is about to be released is bigger than you. Any strength that you need, any strength that you need, any strength that you need for your journey, at the sound of your amen, I announce receive it right now. I say receive it right now, receive it right now, receive it right now, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, let your amen turn the louder. I announce you have the strength, strength to carry the promise. If you understand that thunder, it louder, amen. Take your seat. People of God, sometimes what you need might just be a strength of discernment. Strength of revelation. Strength of that. So sir, sometimes you are looking for Isaac by conception. But God wants to release Isaac by strength. I don't know that I made sense. You want Isaac that will enter my stomach immediately? No, no, no. And God said, mm, I want to, I'm releasing strength. The first gift I'm going to give you is the gift of strength. Some of you didn't understand what happened in 2023. God was releasing strength to you. You were looking for, you were looking for your Isaac. You wanted, you wanted your tummy to protrude and God said, listen, let me keep you where I'm going to give you strength. I'm going to give you strength because the last time I brought your Isaac without strength, you almost embarrassed me. The last time I brought you an Isaac and I didn't release the strength for you to guard your Isaac and all that. My name was almost reproached among the Gentiles. So right now, before the next Isaac comes, I'm going to empower you. I'm going to give you strength. You will have wisdom. You will know what to do. You will know what not to do. You will know how to align. You will have how not to align. You will know who to disconnect from. You will know who to connect to. You will know how to reason. You will know how to see people beyond who they say they are. You need strength.
that. If your amen will thunder like a warrior, every strength that you need in this season, at the sound of your amen, let it be released unto you. I say, let it be released unto you. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Let your amen thunder louder. So just it. If you go through a situation, right, looking for an Isaac, and you end up with strength, you are still blessed. Can I say it again? If you go through any situation, looking for Isaac, and you ended up with strength, trust me, God has given you something valuable that will bet many Isaacs. You went through it looking for something, but you came back with better understanding. You came back with better discernment. You came back being able to have insight, knowledge, and understanding. Listen, church, I can bet my life on this. Some of you, if what happened to you did not happen to you, you will not have sense to this level. Let me run to verse 20, chapter 21. As I tidy you up quickly, I have a lot of things to say. The Bible says that the Lord visited Sarah. Show me verse 1. Show me verse 1. The Lord, and the Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Huh? The Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah. People of God, this comes from, um, this and comes from um, a Hebrew word, um, O-U-N. I don't know how they used to call it in, in, in Hebrew, but Shada. It means by extension. So God did not just visit Sarah. God showed her the evidence of the visitation. Some of us have had encounters. We have had visitations from God. You have had, you know, you know, you know, there, there's a prayer that was done when we finished that day. You knew that, Pam, this is my word. There were seasons, you know, this is my word. Lord, all we ask you today is that we don't just want to be visited. We want to show our generation the evidence that we have been. The Bible says the Lord visited Sarah as he has said, and, and I did unto Sarah. We want a did it. Oh yeah, forgive my vocabulary. God, we want we we know you have done it. We know you have visited us. We believe your word. But there is an and and there, there has to be a doing. And there be other. Listen, you didn't come to waste time. Even if you don't have faith, my faith will carry. Listen, you will not just have a visitation, you have the evidence. Even your amen is too weak for what God is doing. I say you will not just have visitation. You will have the evidence. Receive 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 it. 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 Let your amen turn now. My generation will not keep hearing from me. God visited me. I can't keep telling them how, how God visited me. You know, I had a visitation last night. You know, I had an encounter. At the beginning of this year, the Lord encountered me. I saw this and I saw that. Ah, Kobala, we must move our visitation from the place of visitation to the place where we will show them this is the receipt. This is what he did. Ashabada, they will not believe us if we keep talking about visitation without showing them this is the evidence and the Lord if you have visited do 
if this is you if this is you lord if this is your hand if this is andabaka if this is your word if this is your power akibade ashabade atala rekedo atabia ashabara let there be a doing I came to let you know. Don't settle for just visit. Our Christianity is not a Christianity of goosebumps. It's not, oh my goodness, I have fizzles and all of that. I have, uh, Lord, that was you, I know. But Lord, let it in the house. A sepicot in the Nebiacada, a Shabadada, Lekatora, Zebiana Cata, a Shabada, a Kotaba, his Sabada. If I meet Pharaoh, what will I tell him? His Shabada. Should I just tell Pharaoh that I saw a bush that was burning? He said, What I'm gonna tell Pharaoh, a Shabada, a Kotea. He said to Moses, When you get to Pharaoh, do not fail. Do do not fail to do the wonders that I have put in your hands. In other words, I didn't just encounter you. I left you with wonders. And the bayad o kona basaya, in la kona basaya, a kona bana mothers and fathers here, le kona ba, ira bala saya. Our children will not just see us pray. They will not just see that my mother loves God, my father loves God, but they will see us rise and give them evidence. He kona saya. What happened here is a result of the prayer I made. He visited me, so he showed me this. Because you know what, they have more questions. The Gen Z are asking they are wondering if god is real then why this if god is real then what is going on we will not leave them with our answers we will not just tell them yes that is the way god works we will tell them when he visits there is a doing and the lord visited sarah as he has said but that is not all by extension the lord did unto sarah as he had spoken and the corazia so sir between every visitation and a manifestation he takes you to the labor room where you're going to birth it. So it is not about God. It's about Neko Nasaya. How much do you want to birth your encounters to become the real? Oh my goodness. I don't have all the time. I would have spent more time on this. The Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. And Show me the next verse so that I can tidy up. The Bible says, For Sarah conceived and bare a son in his old age, and the set time of which God has spoken to him. Yes, the next verse. And Abraham called the name of the son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him. Isaac. I don't have the time, but listen. As your evidence comes this year, please name your evidence. Listen, let me say to you whatever brings you, God brings your way, takes the character of what you call it. Don't just say, oh my goodness, I don't have all the time. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, who Sarah bare to him, Isaac. You know why this is important? Is that the Bible says when God created all those things and then brought it unto Adam, the Bible says whatsoever Adam called it, that was what it became after. People of God, do you know that God can give three persons 10,000 naira? He called Abashiah. One will receive it as 10,000 naira. Another might also receive it as 5,000 naira, while another will receive it as 10 billion. But he gave us the same thing. But there's something I'm calling my own. I'm not calling my own 10,000. Because I know whenever he's about to make a harvest happen, the first thing he sends is a seed. Some people might look at their own and say it's nothing, self. He said, All that God gave me. But God said, All I have given you leaves you with a responsibility. What do you call what I have given? 
giving you are you calling it what you are seeing what Kabadesha, Elebiada, Asabada. Listen, God created these animals. Why didn't God give them names? There are things that God will bring your way this year. You have a responsibility. Your responsibility is to give them a name. I wish I wish I can stay on this matter. You have a responsibility to give them a name. Anabala was Sierra. I know it doesn't look like the big one, but don't call it how it came. Call it what you received. I honestly feel like I, I'm going to pray right now. Because there are some things that are going to come. You're not going to call it. You're not going to call it what came. You're going to keep calling it what you received. I'm not going to call it what I am seeing. I'm going to call it what he told me. Shikata, Rekado, Zebia, Ata, 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 Rakoto Balasha. Don't call the business the money you are receiving. Don't call, don't call it that. Don't call it Kanabalaba. Don't call your ministry what is going on right now. Rekedebea. Call it what you received. Renebeketola. Ashabada. Alibada. Asabadia. When your baby comes, give your baby a name. But that was not where I was going to. Show me the next verse. Arabala there. And Abalasa, show me the next verse. And uh, show me the next verse. We're almost there. The Bible says here, and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. I want you to understand. Aya <laughs> Nebokotola. There's so much there's so much coming up in my spirit. I need you to understand that Ishmael was older than Isaac. Seed of Abraham as well, going to be great. Do you understand? However, we can't stay in the same environment. Let me say, tell you this. Ishmael is simply a product of good seed in a wrong environment. It might still carry greatness, but it will negate the will of God. So we don't judge Ishmael's by their greatness. We judge it by, is it in alignment with the will of God? One blessing you need to be aware of this year is the blessing of Ishmael. It still carries greatness, but it pulls you away from the will of God. And this was where Sarah said, send this guy away. Sarah said, no, listen, <laughs> Ishmael's, <laughs> he said, my husband, <laughs> Ishmael's, they are good seeds, but when they find themselves in the wrong environment, it might carry greatness. But it is not the will of God. Look out for businesses that might look great, but not the will of God. Look out for pretty girls, really very fine, but they are not the will of God. Look out for business associates that look like they know what they are saying, but they are not the will of God. When that time comes, remember what Sarah said unto Isaac um, said unto Abraham, he said, throw them away. He said, cast out this bondwoman and her son. Listen, Abraham had a problem until God spoke. Just like you too, you will have a problem. God, am I going to let this go? But God is saying, it might look great, but if it is not my will, let it go. No matter how much I prophesy to you. But if I don't let you know that Ishmael's 
might be great, but it can never be the will of God. I've only set you up for disaster. So everything that looks like greatness, you run into it and say, oh, pastor, say will be great. Watch it. What is this? Good idea. But there are some roro ro that is inside it. Look, great, 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 great guy. But there's some things that are not, I'm not, I'm not ticking off properly. Watch out for Ishmael. Ishmael cannot stay with Isaac. Ishmael, the definition of Ishmael is good seed in a wrong environment. Rise on your feet. Would you lift up your two hands wherever you are? I decree. Let the Lord align you to the place of your laughter. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Ooh. Would you put together your offerings? Your tithe and your partnership. In streams of joy, we stand to give to God because we understand that we are offering to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership and raise it before God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Kapadasi badada shubadaya. Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. I announce it's a new season. Nothing missing and nothing broken. It is done. In Jesus' name.